y'all girl Malika Andrews um got married to Dave McMenamin. Man, uh, I think he might be a columnist or a writer or whatever. And what's so funny was I was kind of gonna speak on this, and I'm glad that I waited. Sometimes it's best to wait or be patient. Now, um, for the brothers, check out the real one-on-one playlist, check out the Patreon. I won't be uh, disappointed um, in the Patreon, right? So I'm going to tell you all this, man. I was going to speak on this, and I'm glad I waited. A lot of times, um, our women in our community tell us that we got to be six foot. We got to make six figures. Uh, we got to be this tall. We got to do this, that, and the third. And I'm going to tie this together real quick, fast, in a hurry, right? Uh, nine minutes or less, probably not even that, right? And they tell us that we got to be a certain stature, and all that type of stuff, right? And then they go around marry guys like this, which they can do what they want, right? I just want to point y'all out to this. So Dave McMenamin is 5'9", 41 years old, right? Right? Um, she married to this dude, right? He's short. He, you know, looked nerdy. But then she would ask a guy like you, right? She would ask a guy like you to look a certain way, to be tall, to be a, a thug, an educated, reformed Pookie thug and Ray Ray and all that. So they say, who is Dave McMenamin? You know, she 29, he 42. But then again, you won't hear nobody calling him a predator, will you? You wouldn't hear anybody calling him a predator. That's a lot. That's 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 a that's a large age gap, right? 42 to 29. You wouldn't hear anybody saying, oh, that's nasty. That's gross. And they tell that to men all the time. Oh, that's nasty. That's gross. Right. They tell us us all the time. Ten years is just nasty. Five years is just nasty. Why don't you date somebody your age? Right. They tell us that. Right. And so the like Andrews, he covers the NBA for ESPN and hosts NBA Today, NBA Countdown. McMenamin, who works for Worldwide League of Sports, where he works in the NBA. He's not even the top. He's not Stephen A. He's not a, a Pat McPhee. Shit, he not even Dan Orlowski. Orlowski. Dog, not even Dan Orlowski. And that's saying a lot. So she married this sixth rate, tenth rate ESPN reporter, right? So, you know, they got married, right? And they tell you that you got to be this and you got to be that and you got to look this type of way and all that type of stuff. And that's cool. That's their choice. That's what, that's who they should be. That's who they should be rocking with. Right. Real talk. That's who they should be rocking with. That's who they should be kicking in like sake with no issue there. You know, you know, no issue there. That's cool. They do what they want to do, but then it becomes a problem when they sit here and they marry a guy like David McMenamin, you know, uh, uh, but and then they continue to try to destroy black men like Malik Andrews has. You know what I'm saying? And you notice that when a lot of the 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 black women go out here and they go uh you know marry and go mix mix it up, they sit here and they go out their way to destroy black men like she did Brandon Miller of the Charlotte Harness, like she did many others. Like, if you over black men, don't worry about us. You don't really, you rarely see uh, black men, black men marry out and still be talking about black women and, 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 and harping on how they can't stand black women, how they can't be with black women, how they can't, how they don't, but men don't do that. They're happy in their situation. But she goes out her way, you know, you know what I'm saying? You know, you know, uh, you know, she goes out her way to destroy black men at every drop of the dime that she gets. And it should be no secret that, you know, she part of the Swirl Patrol. It should be no secret that she part of the Swirl Patrol. Because you notice that with a lot of the black women that divest, right? That divest, and that mean that no longer want to, you know, uh, marry or date black men, which we cheap, we we don't spend no money, we terrible fathers, um, 
you know, uh, we all thugs, we all pookies. Um, all we do is lie, cheat, and all that type of stuff, right? So, you know, she be with one bad dude in her life, and they attracted the bad guys. They be say they be attracted to Pookie Ray Rays and stuff of that nature, or you know, bad guys. But then you have brothers that's you know that's like Dave McMenamin who make more money than Dave McMenamin. That's clean cut like Dave McMenamin, McMenamin, whatever his name is. That's young in a prime. You know what I'm saying? That's that's making money. That's doing the right thing. That's faithful, and they dog them out. They dog them out, or they or they not attracted to them. But then they'll go get attracted to a guy, you know, that's of other other ethnic group, and they'll and they'll be submissive to him. Right? They'll be submissive to him. Everything that a, a productive black man are, you know, he is, but they'll just put up there, they'd rather deal with him. And that's fine. Nobody is tripping about that. But if you really over black men, then why does she have to drag us in the dirt? Because she really not. He gonna get the same Keisha that we get. Let me tell you that. He gonna get the same black woman that we get. She not gonna satisfy him. And she probably already cheating on him. How much you wanna bet this ain't gonna last forever? I'm telling you. I'm telling you. She's more successful than he is. Right? She is. She is. The whole type of thing she tried to pull with Jalen Rose. She, just because you had a bad experience with black men don't mean you got to take it out on every black man. You know, but let's see what the comments say. I haven't read them. Maybe it's me. <laughs> you see, not surprised. F that. You know, congrats. <laughs> I don't know what that meant. He said their oath contains commitment to LeBron. I guarantee it. So y'all don't see a problem. <laughs> oh, yeah, this makes not, oh, yeah, this makes total sense now. You know what I'm saying? Now, you know, got married in, uh, on Kobe Day and still found a way to make it about them. I don't know if it was his birthday yesterday. Here, so beautiful. Love, I might care what she say. A whole bunch of Umar. He said, sorry, Dave. He said, I'm not so, I'm not happy for them. I had no shot at her, but it still hurts. Yeah, who cares? Congratulations to Malika. So niggas really want to wipe that. Go ahead. I, she will look good. Good looking. Didn't know, bro. Hey, mixed women really marry white 97.3% of the time. Oh, there you go. Not surprised. Who's shocked by this? He said, now we know why. You know, I thought this was, you know, not, I'm almost crashed out. He said, I didn't even know they were dating. Said he got gang. He said that. So you got a lot of niggas simping too. Uh, he winning in life. She been colonized. She married that rat face mother Timothy Johnson with the best comment. So at the end of the day, that's her prerogative. Let me know what you girls and guys think. Check out the music entertainment playlist. Hit the link tree. Find me on X, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts. Check out the Patreon. Guarantee you won't be disappointed. Peace.